So I am back with Alexa and we are doing another thrifting video today. First of all, I need to acknowledge that we are literally matching. It was intentional. <laughs> also, their butts are on the back of yeah, our shirt. Yeah, so, so amazing. <laughs> today, Alexa had the brilliant idea of filming this video and luckily she's letting me do it with her. We are going to the lowest rated thrift store in Orange County. So that is where we are today. That's where I'm flying out of this afternoon. So we figured we would find the lowest rated Goodwill and it's got, I think, two and a half stars or mm -hmm. two stars. Two and a half. There's yeah. a ton of negative reviews on yeah. Yelp, which I'm gonna be reading in a second. We thought it would be fun to kind of like do our own little spin on this trend i've seen like the nail salons and the restaurants and the pizza places but we're gonna go thrifting at the worst rated goodwill i'm kind of nervous about it because after alexa just filmed her little portion of her video and read some of these reviews i'm like yikes but i also think like low-key it'll be really fun and entertaining like hopefully something crazy happens i'm actually really <laughs> excited i want to say one thing really quickly though this goodwill is really nice like if if the people that were complaining about this goodwill saw some of the goodwills in phoenix honey yikes <laughs> some of the goodwills in phoenix i have left because i feel so unsafe so i'm curious to see how this is going to compare to that because even some of my earliest thrifting videos like i was not in good goodwills it was very sketch i wanted to read a couple of these reviews just to give you a little preview of what we might possibly be dealing with and like a lot of them are mainly on the staff which yeah. i i totally understand i've been to goodwills where like the staff made me feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and that's why i don't go back that's what we were saying is it can probably like all boil down to like the staff and like maybe how clean the bathrooms are or if they clean up stuff off the floor or whatever but i mean in my last goodwill video where i bought both of these items like someone was mopping the floors because someone peed in the <laughs> dressing room so like i think we're gonna be okay they're like paragraphs mm -hmm. too like yeah they're all long very unorganized looks like nothing gets cleaned up books piled up on the floor looks like things are just dumped on the shelves unfriendly staff the prices of this goodwill are way more expensive than any other i've been to t-shirts usually 1.99 or $5.99 here would rather shop at other Goodwill locations. My main complaint is I purchased three DVDs along with my other items and one did not work. Okay. <laughs> Overpriced and all of the furniture is junk and should be thrown in the dump. Cheaper to buy new clothes at Walmart and the place smells bad. There's nothing vintage here. It's overpriced junk. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Yeah. I mean, I might be eating my words later, but I'm excited. We're going to try it out and we're going to see what happens. So let's go. <laughs> Look, someone's already cleaning outside. That's a good thing. So far, so good. First thing I've noticed, they don't have carts. They just have baskets. Very interesting. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is also definitely a smaller Goodwill compared to ones that I've been to before, but like it looks fine in here so far. We've talked to two employees already and they were super nice. They were like, hi, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Maybe they've seen their Yelp reviews. Yes, yes, and more yes. Fries before guys, am I right? Me at the oh, president. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know if this is all of Southern California or if this is just this Goodwill, but my Goodwill has the size of whatever the item is on the tag, so you don't have to like dig through the piece of clothing, but I don't see it anywhere listed. So I'm gonna try these Wranglers because I am still determined to find a good pair of men's jeans. I feel like for me, in my body type, it's really hard to find men's jeans that fit my proportions, but I haven't given up. So. Maybe these will be the one. Found two really dope flannels and I'm trying to decide between each one. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of a flannel problem, but to be fair, I kind of am getting newer flannels that are in sizes that fit me more because the old flannels that I have are all from like when I was a significantly smaller size. I kind of want to upgrade because I like the oversized look a lot better, so I can't decide, but I'm feeling this one. It looks cooler in person. Maybe I'll get both. That's, a, that's excessive. Maybe just one. So I actually just went to the bathroom and it was like one of the nicest Goodwill bathrooms I've ever been to. I've been before and haven't touched anything. <laughs> one time I went into one, if you guys remember my thrifting in LA video, the first one I did, I had some sunglasses like on my shirt like this and I leaned over and the sunglasses fell off and I just left them because I didn't even want to touch them. But this one, like I've been to like Starbucks that have grosser bathrooms than that. It was really impressive. I always have a harder time in the women's section finding stuff, but I'm going to 
try to at least find something. Is it weird that I think this is kind of really cute? Like maybe tied up, we might have to try this. I know this isn't just this Goodwill either, but not having a cart is definitely a huge inconvenience. I didn't realize how lucky I was until I came here and my arm almost fell off 20 times. Guys are resting in a pile of pillows right now. Another thing to add to my list of things that I have noticed is that this Goodwill isn't organized by size. So every single size is just kind of like thrown into the rack. Like at my Goodwills, it's definitely like organized with like little tabs that say the size, even though they're never right. But you guys, I'm really not just saying this. I'm so blown away. Like this is one of the nicest Goodwills I've ever been to, ever. In the arms of the that was a hard one. That was really bad. A few moments later. I made it into the fitting room. It's actually like freaking huge. There's like a whole bench. Hold up, did I just find a pair of men's jeans that fit me? Like I could cut these into shorts for this summer. I have like room in the waist. I don't have a offensive level of camel toe. What on earth is going on? And for only eight bucks, my mind is actually freaking blown right now. Like what? is going on we are off to a great start also i was just trying to be quiet in the fitting room because i thought there was a random person next to me but then i heard alexa talking hey. and she's right there shouts out to lee men's jeans man who knew we're off to a good start so i'm like i'm feeling confident now wait do i have two in a row stop i just found two in a freaking row what the heck is this sorcery that's amazing and i actually have like you know how like men's jeans are so much smaller in the waist yeah these like actually fit my waist i'm so confused what is going on okay well we were bound to have one fail in the bunch <laughs> i found this pair of american eagle joggers but they're in a size medium they're definitely leggings on me i love a red pant and i'm so sad about these because they fit in the legs great but the waist is way too big which is actually a problem i never ever have unfortunately these just aren't the ones. So Alexa had actually picked out this dress for herself and then she realized it was gonna be too big. So I was like, I'll try it on. And it's everything. It's from the Exhilaration brand at Target and I love it. It is $8.49, which I find a bit expensive. That was another thing I noticed as we kept looking around. I was like, okay, like t-shirts were $5.99, tank tops were $5.99. It definitely is a higher price point. I see what people were talking about in the reviews, but still finding okay stuff so far. I know Alexa is not having the best time, which is like the perfect kind of example of what thrifting is really like. Like sometimes you have a really good day and then sometimes you just don't really find anything. You know I am a sucker for like corny t-shirts like this, especially if they're super oversized and you can wear them to bed and then like tie them up or tuck them in. And this is amazing. This is truly me and Liz with our glasses of wine asking where the party is. And it's only $1.99, so I am absolutely getting it. My pile just keeps on getting bigger. Okay, so I personally wouldn't wear this denim on denim, but this with like a different kind of pant? might actually be really cute. I kind of don't hate it at all. I think for three bucks I have to get it. Okay, <laughs> so we've come across another dud. I was really hoping that this was gonna be cute. I don't know like what I was thinking I was gonna pair with this. It doesn't fit me well, like it just hangs like this and I have like very aggressive side boobs. So like if I were to pull it down to where it would be tight, like half of my boob would be out. No. Now this one, I'd be much more likely to go for, but I do feel like it's just a little too fitted. It shows like every detail of my bralette. I just don't really think it's worth $6, but like it is kind of cute. I don't know, I don't know. For this one, it was like trying to be cute like Alexa and wear like the striped shirts that she wears, but 
but I don't know if it looks that good on me. I've never really just worn like a basic shirt like this without like some kind of design or something, but maybe it's like a good basic to add to my collection. I guess this is really comfortable, like really comfortable. Maybe this will go in the maybe pile as well. We've only got two more left, so let's see if we can end this on a good note. Okay, second to last, we have this like blue number, this like off the shoulder. Again, trying to get more basic in my wardrobe. Like this might be cute with like some black high-waisted mom jeans or even just jeans in general. I don't know why I'm so on the fence about this like tighter, more fitted vibe. I think it's just my own like kind of body insecurities. Not saying that you have to have like a perfect body to wear tight clothes. I don't know. I don't know. And last but not least, we got our flannel friend here, which I'm sure is gonna be fantastic. I love it already. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is One just question, please. Thank you. This is just absolutely perfect. I have zero complaints about this. I love it. It's definitely gonna be my new red flannel. You come at home with me, girl. So we're back in the car. I figured I would show you a quick little haul of everything I got. I did spend $53, which is like one of the oh, most wow. highest bills I've ever had in the entire time I've shopped. But I did find some good stuff and I was kind of in need of a few basics. The first item I got is the last item I tried on this flannel. It ended up being, how much was this? They put their tags on like weird places at yeah, this Goodwill. Yeah. It was $6.49, which, I mean, I guess that's pretty average for a flannel, really for like cute. a men's flannel. It's like in a size extra large, so it fits like really big, kind of like this one. Then I got this blue off the shoulder top. I did end up getting all three of my Ooh, maybes. I had cute. a maybe pile, but I was like, wait, this is actually kind of cute. It's from the Target brand. I will say it was $6.49. That's kind of a lot for like just a little shirt like this. Like I feel like at my local Goodwill, it'd probably be like $3.99, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's, it's a really nice color. Yeah, I did end up getting this basic, just, you know, I was really inspired because you always what? wear like striped shirts or you like I feel like this time last year That was like yeah. your go-to 100% I don't have anything like this So I'm really trying to like be comfortable wearing more basics. This one was how much was this? $5.99 again this was from Forever 21 so this or I'm sorry H&M So this shirt was probably originally only $5.99 anyway so kind of like annoying, but I mean, whatever. I wanted it, so I bought it. Then I did get this. It's kind of like, um, Ooh, oh my I God, know, that right? So cute. I thought so too. And it's $5.99 as well. Again, kind of overpriced. I did decide to go for that one. I'm excited for you to see this because it's so weird, but I really, really loved it. And I like tied it up. Ooh. And it has a flamingo oh, on it. That's so cute. Yeah, I, love I really it. love this. So I figured I might do like a denim on denim look with this, or I'll do like black on the bottom or something like that. But I thought this was really cute. And this one was $5.99 as well, but I did get it for oh, half yeah. off. Yeah. So this was the only one that I got that was $3. <laughs> but I mean, hey, we didn't go on a sale day. So what did we expect? I got this shirt, oh. which I got my makeup all over, but I'll wash that off later. This was the best deal of the day. It was $1.99. And it was this shirt that says, Where's the party at? <laughs> Or something like that. I yeah. love it. Alexa, as I said, actually picked this out. It looked so cute. Okay. It actually looks so cute. It's from the Target brand and it's just like a really cute, I, what do you call this? Like a skater dress? Is that what they call it? Yeah. Kind of like a flowy, easy summer dress. I'm definitely going to be wearing bike shorts under this though. And then just throwing on like some tennis shoes with this will How be much a perfect summer look. Oh, yes. Thank you. This was $8.49. So again, a little on the pricey side. This is definitely like a more, I would say, like bougie, expensive Goodwill. And then last but not least, I got these two jeans, which I showed you guys. One is by Wrangler and the other is by Lee and they were both $7.99 so could be better could be worse but I feel like that's pretty standard especially yeah. actually for Lee jeans at my local savers they'd probably be like more like $10.99 oh, so wow. yeah so I feel like this is a, a good price so yeah that is everything I got I hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you go over to Alexa's channel because we obviously did the same exact thing and if you want to see another perspective and see what she got she actually had a lot less luck than mm -hmm. I did so I think that's really important to like showcase kind of like how in my last thrifting video when I did the men's section I really didn't have the best luck but I did it anyways because I wanted to show that like yeah sometimes you only end up with a couple things and I'm wearing two of those things today yeah. so I mean it worked out so overall as far as this goodwill goes I would say it was one of the nicer goodwills I've ever been to I don't really understand the complaints about about the one star reviews, but yeah. I just thought like everyone was really nice. The dressing rooms were really, really clean. Everyone was really friendly. The cashier was like having a great time with me interacting. Everyone, like there was no worker there that looked 
upset. Mm -mm. And everything was clean. Like, I just, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't really have any complaints. That is probably one of the nicest Goodwills I've ever been to. I'm honestly shocked that this is the lowest rated one that we yeah. could find. Everyone else was like four stars, like, and this one was two, two and a half, and there were so many angry people. And the thing is, the reviews were like, from a month ago. I would always say check the reviews before you go to a thrift store, but also keep an open mind when you do go. Sometimes people are just having a bad day. Yeah, you, know? you never know. But we had a great experience. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to check out Alexa's video. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. All of that will be linked down below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you next time. Bye.